Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. I clicked the play button rather than clicking start recording, so I'm going to wait here before doing the timer and actually click and play, because I just wanted to say a couple things. Hello everyone, it's episode 64. If you're wondering why it came out a day late, I did actually record yesterday, but the footage was really quite bad. Yeah, it was terrible. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I was having a bad mental health day and I just wasn't myself. The gameplay was bad, the commentary was bad, nothing got achieved, and I was getting frustrated and it was kind of a depressing watch if I had released it, so yeah, I deleted that and I just scrapped it and thought, okay, we'll wait for a fresh day. Thankfully, I'm feeling much, much better today, so I'm excited to get into this today rather than feeling on edge like I was when I tried to record yesterday. And yeah, it could be our last day and, and hopefully it will be if we manage to crack this raid. So we're gonna, I made sure I banked everything so I was basically in this exact same spot as I had been on the day before needing to re-gear before the start of the raid. I may have just lost some supplies basically, but nothing actually got achieved. You know what, I think I am going to take these pots. I think I'm just gonna take them with me. I'll have one less brew to take this super combat. Because I think it's worth it for repotting during Capri. Or just making sure that you pot up right before Capri. Okay, no time to waste. Hopefully I don't die in Capri today. That definitely didn't happen. What? Fuck the arcane scarab. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Right, give me a nice easy one. Easy. Easy. That was easy. Thank you. Would have been embarrassing if I messed it up then, wouldn't it? Okay, what's this? Is this an easy one? Mm, it's not too bad. We'll lose 20 hit points, but that's okay. Oops. No, I did it wrong. Oh, I guess that works too. Pretty clean first bit. On to the very first boss, and we will be fully potted for the first time ever doing this. Very cool. Still don't hit with the DDS though. I hope I don't regret cutting that bro. Because the super combo is literally just for this room. I suppose I could have brought instead of the range pot and done Zebak first with the range pot and left the range pot. And then the puzzle room won't be as much of a factor. Did take an unnecessary hit there, unfortunately, but I'm going to deal with that spin scarab. And then we are going to get as many of these as we can. Hopefully, Capri doesn't recharge too much. Okay. We managed to get through phase one with only a single dong line, so not too bad. Okay. One, two, please die, motherfucker. I swear if he doesn't move, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh no, I couldn't get him to move yesterday either and it was the worst. Oh, thank fuck. No, I think he still got me. Jesus. Okay, we'll try and get some health back. Okay, used some supplies there, but nothing we can't deal without. And I can repot now, even though I brewed. One mana, two brew doses, and five restores so far is what we have spent. If I average two restores per boss kill, that's fine. It'll give me enough to last. Because eight restores, two per boss, plus the last one we already. We don't need supplies for the final boss because we always get a life pack before. So the supplies are just for the first four. Almost that. Nice, double dong on the same spot. Just what you love to see. Okay, hopefully I don't have to use another restore dose and we can get away with just six used. All right, Kepri down, nine minutes. Bit of a slow start maybe, but wasn't too bad. Now we move on to Zebak. When I finish this puzzle room, I'm gonna have to pause the timer briefly and turn my heating down because I am sweating like a madman. 
Oh no, I forgot the croc. Oh no. I was thinking about my sweaty, sweaty palms. Oh, I've got to get back with the full load here. Half won't do it. He's been nibbling too much. And I don't know the correct tiles for this. That's not good. Okay, I should be able to get it from this one at least. Oh, please don't. It's empty. It should have refilled by now. There we go. Can I get some blood off? Try and heal a bit. Alright, I'm just going to brew up. I want to be nice and healthy. Just waiting for that wrench to tick down one more. Alright, Zebak. You've been absolutely lovely to me in recent days, so if you fancy giving me a shit ton more rubies here, I will suck your dick. Crocodiles have dicks. Lovely stuff. Can we have another? How about now? Oh, one thing to note is you never get auto attack delay when you hit one of these. Like, you can hit one and then fire another shot after. Oh, how beautiful is that? All I have to do is push it. One tile couldn't be more perfect. Oh, and we can even get him on rapid from here. Lovely stuff. Smooth their back so far. And there is another ruby. It is down to 86 now rather than 100 on the hit. So I'm going to swap over to the blowpipe. At least until the wave spawn. And he is into his final phase. I always forget he can melee. I'm going to have to restore again. <laughs> it's okay. I only use like one dose during this. Oh shit. I missed a flick. Pay attention. Man, both my specs missed. Some bullshit. Okay, that last phase kind of took the piss, but pretty clean regardless. Still got a decent amount of supplies left. Feeling good at the minute. Feeling good. That is a very tempting chaos. How much do we care about liquid adrenaline? I'm good on supplies. I don't really need the extra food, so I'm going to take the adrenaline. What's tempting, though? Why did I just do that? I was not paying attention to where that orb was at all in the slightest. Fuck. Stupid boy. What? Oops. Just gonna sniff some bath salts. Get those stats recharging so we don't have to wait for them when we're at the start of the next room. We will still have another phase of this left anyway, but unless we hit all tens, hello. Never lock it. Keeps that run energy recharging as well. Wait, could we just go? Oh, I don't think I've ever gone that way. You get used to the patterns after a while. I usually go like back here and then around, but I think this is better, right? If you don't moonwalk into a shadow. Okay, pull that salts away. We will get our bruise over here a bit and move the crossbar out of the way because we don't need that ever in this room. And we want our mage gear on to start with. This gear over here, so I'll go with this and this. Oh, I forgot to deposit those. It's okay. And I'm going to try and get some healing here at the start so I don't have to use resources if possible. If Hacker is kind enough to let me get some hits on him. Oh, there we are. Pretty much back up to full. And on to these guys. He's changed. Good job I was looking straight at him at the time. Oh, he's changed again. And he's doing this. Blowpipe's doing bits against him. Oh no. Oh, that was lucky. I didn't get punished there. I think blowpipe might be faster. I never know what the quickest way to take these guys is. Oh, thank fuck he did that, because it was just before. Look how close that hourglass was. I think it was here. <laughs> that confused the fuck out of me. It made me switch styles, because I got confused. <laughs> I switched my prayers. It's a good job I did not get punished there. I just got a defense level. So far, this has been pretty smooth. We're about to get to the scary bit, though. I need to hide these, so I'm not constantly looking at them, though. They just distract me too much. There he goes. Nice. Okay, lots of misses. I think my salts ran out. That's not ideal.
specs run out. Come on. Yes! Get in. This is the one, folks. This has got to be it. Got to be. Okay, I'm going to resalt here. We've got plenty because we've still got a full one. So I want to make sure I'm accurate in this monkey room and able to barrage a decent amount. We probably want this on and yeah, we just want access to these. So start with that. Okay, couple close calls, but we made it. We've got one manta, this amount of brews. It's so not an awful lot of food left, but I think we should be okay. Fingers crossed. Let's just get in there and find out. Oh, lovely. Oh, and another 25. We'll take those every day. Both boulders spawned at the side as well. That's perfect for us. I'm wondering if I should kill these guys today, because they did hurt me a bit before. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. The boulders kill them anyway when you get to your next phase. Okay, that was not ideal. I'm losing a lot of health here, actually. Okay, don't kill them, just burst them for the health. Okay, I didn't get too much free time on him there, but it's all good. I think we got enough to almost push him into the next phase. Oh no, I need to get down there now. We're having some lovely melee hits, I'll say that. There we go. Hopefully I can finish it from here, fingers crossed, without having to do another melee phase. Not getting much DPS here, unfortunately. We do still have a full brew though. As long as I don't get hit by something avoidable, we're all good. And it doesn't matter if I'm in the center anymore, because we can't get knocked down now we've done both those phases. See you later, Baba. This is it, folks. This is the run. Oh. Okay. Wow, that was a cool chaos. If I had taken the chaos earlier, we would have still had an adrenaline. That's actually pretty interesting. But two bandages in here, one ambrosia, and all this food. No chance we're not taking it. We are going to shove this away, and this away, and this away. Don't know if we need our own stuff now. I'm just going to get the invent prepared, and then we'll figure it out. Crossbow we won't need until halfway through. This we can get a decent amount out. I don't know if I really want to carry that Ambrosia, because it's the only one, but better safe than sorry. I think I just want to keep the brew and restores on me. Just make me feel a little bit safer. We're not overstocked. We've only got one of each left in the pouch now. So I think I'm going to keep all of my supplies that I managed to, to keep. And we will start on melee. Make sure we are salted up. And then it is no time to waste 20 minutes to get this done. First time that we have actually been at the Warden's phase on a 150 raid level. I hope I staggered them enough. Just about. I think this is actually better DPS than the melee, which is crazy because the melee is meant to be more accurate. But it seems faster, or at least comparable, and this way I'd have to switch. Gonna have to tank a hit here, unfortunately. He's gonna eat into the supplies, but I don't think we'll get to an... We should be able to skip the next ball phase. Ooh, maybe we'll get hit by one of them. Big hits. Already drank a full brew on those first ones. Now we're gonna eat them both again, aren't we? Right, I'm gonna go with the silk dressing for the heal of the time. So I don't wanna drain my stats just at the minute. I wanna get this down before I brew. There we go. Okay, we'll brew up slightly. Not too much. Don't wanna waste them. And then we'll get onto long range. I don't know if I need to use long range here, but I prefer keeping my distance. Make sure he's nowhere near me for melee purposes. Maybe I should try rapid. 
I just don't want it to have me running into things that I'm not meaning to because of my range that I'm not used to. It's a little close, isn't it? But it is faster. <laughs> okay, spec fizz. Ready. I was on the ball there. One more? Oh, that was beautiful. We got really good fizz there. Really good fizz. I didn't see how low it got, so I don't know if it's going to be low enough to have two phased it. That's not good. Let's just brew up and shut up. I think we've got another silk dressing, so I'm going to go for it. We got two of one and one of the other. I think the silk dressing was the one we got two of. Man's ready. I'm on it. Still got the liquid adrenaline from last time, baby. Huge hits. Okay, it looks like it will be a three phaser still, but definitely only three, not four, which is nice. One hour limit lock to ends today, motherfuckers, is happening. And there's a range level as well. That's two levels we've injured this rate. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to that scarab for the last phase of Wardens. One hit. Okay, just gonna get the rest of the stuff out of the bag. Got plenty of room. Top up that. Top up that. How are we doing on salts? One minute left. Okay, this crossbow is going to be a bit awkward to fire here because it's five tick and she's attacking four tick. I'll try it out for a bit and if it looks like it's too slow, then I can't quite get one attack in each location. It's like two to three, but some rubies like that make it worth it. That's why we do use the crossbow, folks, for that sound right there. I'm going to resalt now so I don't have to keep an eye on the timer. Eight minutes should be plenty to get this done, especially if we keep hitting rubies like that. Oh, beautiful. They just keep coming. Ooh, that was a nasty hit. Let's bandage that. That's the downside of using the crossbow if you try and stay too long to get an attack in. I think Kep respawning is probably our cue to switch to the blowpipe. Just get one or two more and... Nope, nope. I'm an idiot. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, just chill. Chill. Crack a scarab. Drink some tears. Get back to it. Don't miss fucking wardens. You have to keep moving. Keep moving. Not too fast. Jesus Christ, what am I actually doing? Do not throw this here, James. I'm going to need more from you, Blowpipe. Okay, we're getting there. That was a messy phase, though. It all comes down to this, folks. Here. I think I'm just gonna Ambrosia. I think I also missed Aka switching, but he just switched back, so. Yet. Oh my gosh, I thought I clicked it. What the hell? Click! Click! I don't know why I had to click my Ambrosia five times then for it to work. I swear to God. 
No fucking way! There's no doing that without salts. I know I've got all these locusts for food, but there's no doing it without salts. Like, I'm just not gonna hit all. It was on 8 HP, man. 8 HP. Okay, I'm gonna go and get the rest of these bone shards done. I don't even know if it's enough, but... Well, folks, you get another episode, but I'm I'm not mad about it. I, I'm, I was mad in a minute, trust me. But, like, I'm cool now. I just took a moment away from it, but yeah, that's that's better than yesterday still. Not that yesterday matters. I just mean because like I still didn't do it, but you know, I'm happy to show footage that I failed in, just not ones that I'm depressed in. <laughs> I don't think this is going to get us the prayer level we want. It's just going to be a good old try again tomorrow. I mean, really, we were so close there, but we were completely out of supplies as well. Yeah, I still got 60k to go. Like how much do you need shards? 9,000. Can you buy blessed bone shards? They're not tradable, right? I guess like doing big bones into shards is probably... Nah, no, that'll take it ages. What am I talking about? Is there anything that I think we could upgrade? Make our chances better? I'm struggling to come up with anything here. I guess the helm's not great, but we still don't have any... 75 defense for... I mean, we've basically proved that we can do it now. But I'm not going to stop until I do actually do it, obviously. But I feel like my point is proved now that it's doable on a one hour account. You just have to get six more damage than I did. Which I'm sure we will tomorrow, because that was smooth. It's giving me a lot of confidence back. I mean, obviously higher stats would help this as well. I'm trying to do it at the lowest possible level because I feel like we can. But having a higher level stats would obviously make this much more achievable and much less thin margins that we're getting it by. To be honest, I'm kind of ready for the series to be done now. I'm at the point where I've proven everything I need to prove, I think. Not that there was ever a need to prove anything, it was just a, a desire. Am I gonna bring combat? I think it works out well, so I will. But do I want to change anything up here? Do I want to go to Zebak first? If I do Zebak first, I would need an invent. No, I could drop something to make inventory space. But then I could... I'm gonna try it that way. I'm gonna try it that way. I've never done it that way. I always do Capri first just because I'm conditioned to by habit. But yeah, there's no reason to, I don't think. So we'll try Zebak tomorrow. And look at that. We actually made use of all our time today. First time in a while. Logged out like 15 minutes early yesterday, but we're not counting yesterday anyway. Okay, folks. About as close as you can get without actually getting the job done. I knew y'all wanted another episode. I couldn't help but give it to you. I had to choke at the last moment there. It was all planned and perfectly calculated. The 8 HP on him, the 6 HP on me. You know, whichever way it goes, I knew we were in for a good time. Either you get a nice finale or you get an extra episode, hey! And that's the way it turned out, you get an extra episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the grand finale, whether it is tomorrow or next week or whenever. I actually finally managed to crack this raid. That was our first attempt at Wardens at this level, so I'm pretty happy with it overall. It could have been done, but it wasn't. We just missed the mark. Hit that like button so that I am infused to hit the mark tomorrow. Leave a comment down below, let me know how much you thought I was about to finish before I actually just died. Yeah, that'll do. Until next time. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.